Welcome back to Susie Anderson Home. Today we're exploring the classic aesthetic and how the universal patterns of beauty seen in classical design principles can be introduced within your home. What is the classic aesthetic? Famously known for his treatise on architecture, the Italian architect and author Leon Battista Alberti documented what he considered the defining principles of classical architecture. These included the stability and usefulness of a building, the aesthetic and mathematical elements of lines, angles and proportions, and beauty and ornamentation. In his view, beauty is the innate harmony seen in well-proportioned buildings, whereas ornament is the added brightness and embellishment, such as the placement of sculpture or art on a building. While ornamentation is often seen on doors, windows, columns, cornices and facades, beauty is the result of symmetry, fractals, the golden spiral or rule of thirds, and the added touch of surprise. In other words, it is about striking the right balance between order and complexity. The question is, what impact does the beauty and ornamentation seen in classical structures have on humans? Studies looking at the correlation between beauty and happiness found that living in an aesthetically beautiful city has a major impact on happiness ratings. From architectural beauty to the sense of history, the biophilic designs and the picturesque streets, these were just some of the major contributors. Unfortunately, with the rise of urbanisation and the prevalence of high-rise apartment buildings dominating major cities, Beautification and ornamentation is no longer the main consideration for these new developments. However, regardless of your style of home or location, there are still ways you can introduce classic elements of beauty and ornamentation into your own home to evoke character, intrigue and elegance. This video will be split into two parts, so we look forward to sharing part two next week. The Classic Aesthetic Part One, Wall Treatments. From wall mouldings to wallpaper, plaster finishes and skirting, there are a variety of ways to transform plain walls in decorative displays. Some ideas include plaster finishes, Plaster finishes such as polished Venetian, lime wash, Roman clay or matte grooved. These can add texture and dimension to any room and is one of the most ancient building techniques still used today. Wall trim. 
decorative wall trim, which is the framing for doors, windows and walls that encompass all mouldings and millwork styles. Wall mouldings. Wall mouldings including chair rails, crown mouldings, baseboard, coving, dental, egg and dart, cornicing and picture frame mouldings. These are typically made from wood, plaster, MDF or stone. Wood panelling. Wood panelling, which is traditional in style and consists of a series of wide, thin sheets of wood framed together by narrower, thicker strips of wood. Popular styles of panelling include board and batten, followed by wainscoting, shiplap, Speedboard, or tongue and groove vertical or horizontal panels. Wall tiles. From porcelain to marble, mosaic, ceramic, limestone and faux wood or travertine, wall tiles can be installed in bathrooms, kitchens or outdoor spaces to add colour, symmetry and pattern. Even a solid colour tile can add visual interest through classic chevron and herringbone installations. Friezes. Friezes are another classic design element introduced in Greco-Roman architecture. Friezes consist of a decorative horizontal band that is attached or painted along the top of a wall, structure or mantle.
They refer to the space between the architrave and the cornice and can be covered with embossed materials, wallpaper, hand-painted designs or embellished with detailed plasterwork. Decorative art installations. Trellises, latticework, murals and frescoes are all decorative elements that have powerful visual effects on any space. Traditionally seen in garden spaces, a trellis is an architectural structure made of long, narrow wood pieces that are crisscrossed for repetition. Classic murals were originally created by painting straight on the walls or plaster and depicted the beautiful landscapes, religious motifs and other scenes designed to tell stories. Due to technological advancements, many murals can now be printed on vinyl and other adhesives and their designs are completely customisable. From botanical designs to scenic landscapes, abstract art, photography or faux wood panelling, there are a variety of designs and applications to choose between. Lastly, fresco is a method of painting water-based pigments on freshly applied plaster, usually on wall surfaces, and is more delicate, intricate and detailed. the ceiling. Recognised as the fifth wall, ceilings were rarely neglected in classical architecture and design and have long been features for displaying ornamentation. Early Roman designs exhibited beautiful reliefs, mosaics, moulded stucco and paintings, with the Renaissance era introducing coffered, vaulted and partially vaulted ceiling designs. While these elaborate designs form eye-catching displays, there are a variety of subtle ways to beautify your ceiling. These include exposed ceiling beams, Ceiling medallions,
ceiling domes, faux tin or plaster ceiling tiles, and decorative paint, plaster, wallpaper or mural art. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed part one of the classic aesthetic and have some actionable ideas for adding beauty and ornamentation to your existing wall treatments. We look forward to sharing part two next week. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe as it helps us reach more people passionate about styling. Remember when designing a home you love, the beauty is in the detail.